there, I'm Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card which is featuring my bundle for the week, my product of the week. So this is just a cute little simple fancy fold card and it features the Making Christmas Bright Bundle. So the bundle comes with this lovely stamp set and this super cute punch as well which punches out all the light bulbs and stuff but another use for the stamp set other than light bulbs is little santa feet or elves feet as well so you can just um, punch them out and spread them across your card now to start we need a half sheet of A4 of Real Red and we'll just fold that in half, give it a nice good crease. Then to make the fold we just fold the front back on itself and give that a nice crease. So that just creates that really simple fold. Now I'll just give you the dimensions of the other bits and pieces we need. For the insert you want that just slightly smaller so that'll be 14.3 by 10 centimeters um, and then we'll be using a garden, uh, no sorry, call me clover square which is 7.5 centimeter square and then a 7 centimeter square of whisper white and then for the little strip down the side I've used the real red and run it through the swirls and curls embossing folder and that strip is 14.3 by 4.8 centimeters so this is the gorgeous embossing folder that I've used to give that a little bit of extra texture so then I've already run this through like I said and I've stuck some tear and tape on the back just to save a little bit of time just peel that off we we'll just stick that on to the front of the card with a little bit of a border around it and then for the inside of the card just to decorate it a little bit we're going to use some of the little um, circle pattern and stars so I'll just ink up and just stamp off the page and I'll overlap slightly and there we have that then I'll get the little star out of the stamp set and I'll just stamp three little stars there just to add a little bit of color so usually when you stamp little bits like that they always suggest that you do it in um, odd numbers so then to attach that I'll just pop a little bit of snail on the back of that and we'll just pop it in the card leaving a little bit of a border push that down and there we have the base of the card all ready to go so the guard uh, the call me clover is our little layering base for the whisper white so I'll first stamp the image in um, Smoky Slate. So that's just a cute little Making crisp, uh, Spirits Bright. And then I'll stamp the little ring above that. And then just to add a little bit of dimension, I'll stamp in Daffodil Delight. I'll stamp the little light globe on a scrap piece and I'll just punch that out and I've left a little bit of extra space so I can attach um, the little top part. So I've stamped out the top of the globe in a little bit of um, sparkling glimmer paper and the easiest way to attach that is with a glue dot but I'll just pop the little piece onto the actual glue dot on the roll and peel that off and then I can where I've left that extra little bit I can just attach that to the top like so 
and then I'll just pop some snail on the back of this attach it to the call me clover which is one of our gorgeous new in colors and then I just pop a little dimensional on the back of the little globe it's got this really cute little star in it too. And I'll just pop that in the center. Then to add just a little bit more character, I've just taken a little piece of ribbon, matching ribbon that I've had. I've joined it together with a little bit of tear and tape. But then I will also just stick some on the back. Peel that off and I'll just attach the ribbon to it like that. Then I'll add some more over the top. Actually, I just made a blooper. I'll peel that piece off because I don't want it going that way. That was one of the critical bits of the card. Oh, there you go, live stamping, what could go wrong? So one thing to keep in mind when you attach this to the card is you don't want tape on that other section otherwise your uh, card will be glued shut so where I want the tear and tape is actually less than halfway across so I just peel that off ah that was a quick save and then I'll just position it sort of in the middle between the two sides and just press it down firmly and there we go we don't have any tape showing so that is an important bit so just keep in mind which side you're gluing down and when you flip it over stick your tape onto that bit so here's a quick simple little fancy fold card using the making christmas bright bundle this is available in my online store and if you shop with me this month please use host code that's down here and any order over a hundred dollars will receive a take your pick tool from me and you'll also go into the drawer for this gorgeous so santa stamp set now this will be drawn live on my Facebook page on November the 2nd, Friday, November the 2nd, around 3 p.m. So every $100 spend will earn you one entry into the draw. So this is just a perfect little stamp set for Christmas. So if you'd like that and you're in Australia, I would love for you to shop with me. If you've got any questions, please contact me and I can help you with your order. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.